All right. Scav case is... Scav case is done. We also have a moonshine completed. If we turn the power on, this will be done in no time. Um, in all seriousness, though, let's do the moonshine. Now, the other thing I would like to do right now, all right? We have this weapon rack. It's got stuff in it. I would like to change this to only being gunsmith guns. Wouldn't mind upgrading it too, but we need to get shooting range done. What do we need for shooting range level two? One motor. Is it literally just one motor? We have walked past so many motors. All right, let's get shooting range too. But in the meantime, we need to get, we want to get these done. And I wouldn't mind just making a couple of guns. I don't know how we do it without making it an absolute mess. Maybe I'll just sell some stuff for the sake of our sanity. Oh, we could probably get one more item case, to be honest. Are you going to get the cameras? I can buy them. I'm not allowed to. We could buy one more item case. Just got to make room for it. Are we out of Bitcoins? No way. I refuse to believe we have no Bitcoins left. All right, what do we need? How many, how many? 14,500. Perfect. All right. And then if we put, <laughs> do we put that in there? We put that in there. Put that there. I don't know if this is silly or not. We have this weird thing. Technically, we put two pistol cases there. That'll do. We just put pistols in there anyway, so. It does make more room, though. It does make more room. Is our med bags full? All right. So, I think first things first, the stuff inside the... This is going to be a little bit of like an admin sorting session, but we'll just... I'll make sure I'll talk plenty and we'll have a bit of fun with it. All right. Um, sawn off shotguns can go. I would love to use the SVT. So, we've got the Vector, the MPX, the RSAS. Don't we have an RSAS? We'll just do the barter trade for it, I guess. It'd be nice if, um... We don't have one. All right, let's put the Dr. D in here. And for now, let's just sell this. Well, actually we could use it to put weapon parts in for now. And all grenades. Let's just do weapon parts for now. We're not gonna need that one. I haven't really got much working space. I don't like this. remember we've got an AK-102 sitting there. We're going to need that for one of the gunsmiths. Right. It's going to be a little bit of annoying, but I want to get it done so that way we don't have to worry about it. So first things first, vector. We have two vectors sitting in here. We need the six inch barrel, which we don't have on either. Skeletonized, tactical dynamic skeletonized foregrip. Which vector should we be using? Does it need to be suppressed? Osprey suppressor. That's that one. So let's go here. Skeletonized, is that one? Tactical dynamic skeletonized foregrip. And then it needs a big stick 33 round mag. Which one's this one? EFT Wiki Gunsmith 11. They've got it as a different stock. Okay. So maybe I'm going to need that stock as well. They've got the Chris Vector non-folding stock adapter. I doubt there'd be a barter trade for this. No. 
Yeah, I know. I know about the barrel. But sight-wise, we don't need a sight on it. I don't think for this. So let's take the sight off. It's the only difference. This one's found in raid. Doesn't need to be found in raid. All right. Let's put this one inside um, here for now. It's gonna be our next gun. All right. So next one is the MPX. And for this one, we need skeletonized pistol grip. What's the RTM loss of it? Uh, we need the annihilator front bit. Right, there's the annihilator. Let's take these out for now. We don't need that on there. We need that on there. What was another bit? Laz tack as well. A thousand percent have one. It's just going to be on another mount. All right. The Laz tack, Steiner Laz tack, and the skeletonized pistol grip. I need to check for that pistol grip. I think the way we get the pistol grip is on a different barter than this one. That's it there, isn't it? Gear, is it? I think I'd rather just grab that other gun. Or we can just get the chainlet. What do you guys think? Grab the other gun. Alright, we need to find a Laz tack in all this stuff. There's definitely one here somewhere. The whole idea of this is. I can make a heap of space if I build some of these guns now and then I can sell some of the parts we don't actually need. It was on your modding screen, second row. Really? You were right. Cool. Um, what else are we missing? <clears throat> That's all the three major parts. It says here for the MPX, we need it's got a, oh, a P2 tactical foregrip. I don't think we need that one specifically. All right, so we need the ergo to be above 52, weight under four kilo, 225 or less recoil. So it just needs to get the recoil down. RK1, put that on it. 30 would make that 118. Yeah, that's 224. It needs to be 225 or less. That's done. Cool, that's complete, I believe. That's ready to hand in. We'll put that on the weapon rack. And that means we can sell all this. Well, we can hold on to this for now. You don't need a mag. All right. Gunsmith 13. Uh, this is the RSAS. The Peacekeeper Barter. All right, for this, I don't know who made this spreadsheet, but well, maybe all those ones are the ones you have to find in raid. This one might be a bit of work. Is there anything that you have to have on it? No. You just got to get the requirements. All right. 34 mil night force with a night force 735 56. All right. Needs a hybrid suppressor. Does it have to? It doesn't have to be a hybrid suppressor. So what's the benefit of hybrid? over one of these other ones. Ergo. So it needs 26 ergo. And if you don't use the hybrid, you're gonna get shafted. All right, the biggest issue we're gonna run into, we need all these other things. All right, ergo. Plus five, plus seven. Well, that's a huge ergo jump. Plus five. We're gonna get to 26 ergonomics. It's got it as uh, putting these on to get there. Let's just go with this one for now. That means we need eight. It needs the Remington RAG four inch. That's the only way really. Where do we find one of them? What guns? M4s? Take out the mag, it's not needed. Is it possible that that doesn't get us there? We could change stock. 
It's only plus one ergo. That's plus eight ergo. What recoil do we need? 300 or less. Done. Let me just double check. Has to be 60 durability. Got that. 26 ergo. Got 29. 300 recoil. We're under that. 1500 sight range. Got that. 6.7 kilograms. We got that. And a silencer. Done. So I'm going to take these off. So that kill still keep, keeps us above 26. And then that's our RSAS. Just question though. Do we need that stock on anything else? We can just get another one later. If we need it. Or we can take it off later if we need to. We've got options. It's fucking annoying, isn't it? All right, we've got the RSS there. All right, so that's complete. We've got the RSS complete, the MPX complete. We're up to the HK. Apparently, this one's a bit of a bother. You don't need to bother. Right. Oof. Oof. There's a lot in this. All right, HK. Where did I see one? Hey, pest. How's things? Good, mate. Really good. All right, we need a 30-round Colt mag. The Stanig. The Midwest Industries 9-inch. This is where we're going to get fucked. You know what I kind of feel like doing? Just disassembling straight up. I guess. Oh, maybe that might be not the way of doing it. We've got to find a lot of specific items. Like, it's got to have the field. The field. And then, like, oh, man. All right, we need the AR-15 Surefire. We don't have that. Needs the... All right, we got that one. That's good. We got one. We need the one to give Ergo. They're using the MBUS ones. Don't think it makes any difference. I think it's just about the Ergo. The LA-5B PE. I need the LA-5B PE. There was a lad attack there. Oh, man. LA... Was it LA-5B PEQ? LA-5B PEQ. Where do we get the HK 11-inch barrel? I don't think I've got that. There's definitely... I'm not just holding on to random barrels. Farm rogues. I need to actually look properly. What length, length barrel is it? HK 11 inch. Does it have to be that? It has to be the AR 15 Uber Gen 2 stock. Panic 3 has it. This is horrific. This was like difficult when there was 16 gunsmiths. Now there's like 400. It's beyond difficult. I've been holding on to items just because of this moment, you know, trying to get through all these. All right, what do you think we do? This is... this. There's so many parts for this gun that it's not even funny that I need. Like the MOE AR-15. That one's going to be rough. I don't have that. I've got the Uber Gen 2, but it's not the right color. I don't have the field color. I don't have the right bar barrel. Is there a barter trade? Okay, this is what I do next. Usually I go, is there a HK barter trade that I can get a heap of parts from? No. The MOE AR-15 is on, on guns. Which one? The MK-16. I think it has to be the field one. We actually, hang on, it doesn't even say it has to be the field one I need. And I need, I need the correct suppressor as well. Holy fuck. This one's gonna be, all right, this is work. This, this one has so many items we have to find. All right, I think we just leave the HK literally looking like that <laughs> for now, because the, the field, I need to have some sort of stock on it. So I'll just leave that on it for now. I don't think there's anything to really change on this right now because I don't have it. I literally don't have anything else. We need the AR-15 Surefire SF3P flash hider. It's, it says SF3P in this bit. All right, that's all we got for the HK at the moment. All right, we've got a long way to go with the HK. All right, what's next? ASVAL. We've got the ASVAL done, I believe. We've got the site. Oh, wow. Dead point. Thanks so much for the raid. Have an amazing stream, dude. Got the stock. Got the ANPEC 15. Got the 30 round mag. That's done, right? Cool. The DVL. All right. So, yeah, that HK, dude, that's actually going to be like really difficult. I just looked at it and holy moly. All right. So, all I need to do with this one is get 34 mil. Oh, my God, that's annoying. We need a 34 mil. I think I've already got one on. 
Is there one on a different gun? It's a 30. I remember seeing a 34 mil somewhere and being like, oh, I'll worry about that later. Was it this one? Nope. Was it? Nope. Where else am I keeping guns? Thanks, dude. I'll just do the barter trade. Okay, 34 mil. And then we just need the night force. Is that it? Just an oh, and a blue laser. Modding laser. 735.56. Gun must be unfolded. Magazine must be removed. And sold, apparently. <laughs> Alright, DVL is ready. To be placed in. This might actually be better placed on the other side. Right. 16's done. 17 is the... Is that AK-102? It is. I have an AK-102. There it is. 17 is what I'm stuck on now. They changed it so much. All right, let's have a look. I'm actually thinking about just selling this Vector. I don't think there's much I need for it. Might sell the KS-23 as well. I am about to get a heap of flash rounds, actually. I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, we'll sell that. All right, let's put that there for now. All right, so you're saying this is difficult. Let's hope it's not. And I've just somehow collected all the items. The CNC War. Done. Pistol grip. Tapco AK style. So the saw. Got it. The BT-10M. Got it. The B-33. Got it. Alcan. I have an Alcan somewhere. Oh, wrong one. Turn that off. I don't want to take that off. I don't want to take that off. All right. Uh, the Olive Drab. Got it. Clash. Now, which, which suppressor is it? Well, it's not a suppressor. And what stock? We have that stock. No, we need an adapter. What adapter? That. Okay, we got that. AR-15 France CBQ. Okay. The mag. Where do we get the mag from? Wait, you need the RPK buffer tube? It, do we have to? Or can I just get away with using this? It specifies that? It does specify that. So is that meant to go, what's the buffer tube go on to? Is there an adapter I'm missing? No, let's go straight onto that. We have that, nice. Uh, we should have the Clash. Clash 2U. All right, so we're missing, we should have an Alcan somewhere here. Does it, it doesn't need to be a specific color. Nope, okay, cool. Okay, so what, do I just need to get an RPK? Is there a barter trade for an RPK? RPK buffer tube. All right, eight capacitors. Chat, put that on our shopping list, eight capacitors. I craft them. Pan. I don't mind not getting Bitcoin farm. Yeah. I don't mind. Bitcoin farm can wait. It's waited this long, it can wait a bit longer. Cool. All right, so buffer tube we can get and then that, but then we put on the stock. So that part's done, the stock's complete. All we need left is the muzzle, which is the France CRD concussion reduction device and the France CBQ 556 muzzle brake and the gun's done. Is that where you're up to? Just the muzzle? Yeah, okay, cool. All right, AK-102. So that's Gunsmith 17. Sorted. Gunsmith 18. So we should actually tick off some of this stuff. So just real quickly. So the vector, we have the pistol grip, mag, and the suppressor. We just need the barrel and the modular. We've got that one. We've got the MPX complete. MPX is complete. RSAS is complete. HK, we have that. That's all we have. ASVL is complete. DVL is complete. AK-102, we have the olive drab, the clash. We don't have this yet. And we don't have the 30 round mag. AKMN, that's what we're working on now. I know there's a bit of like boring maintenance stuff crap chat, but the idea behind this is once we do it, once we know exactly what we need to finish all the guns, then we can literally just sell all these extra parts and we can have a lot more stash space. Because right now, like this is all weapon parts, like all that, all this and up here. That's all weapon parts, just waiting for like gunsmith stuff. It's the specific 30 round mag stock mag doesn't work. On what, sorry? 
Okay, AKMN. We need to find our AKMN if we have one. Okay, M. Okay, M. Okay, M. We might not have one. Is there a barter trade for it? The AK-102. It's a specific 30 round mag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a barter trade for AKMNs? Okay, M. We might just have to skip this one completely. HK, because it's under a full 17. Um, yeah, you go. We won't have it. All right, so we need an AKMN. So we'll skip AKMN and we'll do SVDS. All right, we have a really pimped out SVD. A couple. Let's use this one because it's probably our most pimped out one. Gunsmith 19. This must be close. All right, let's get rid of the stuff we don't need. Does it need the mag? All right, this one's the Uber stock. Does it have to have the Uber stock? It does. It has to be the black one too. Back like my heart. Luckily, we've got one of them. Cool. That works out well. All right, we've got the thread. What suppressor is it meant to have? Just the RSS one. Cool. Sorry, not RSS. Sorry, the one there. All right, 30 round mount. And it, does it have to have that sight? March tactical. We need the March tactical. The MK1 chassis. Surely that's the MK1 chassis. No, it's not. MOE AK pistol grip. Cool. Got that. So what are we missing then? Where's all my other SVDs hiding? There it is. Is that this one? All right. It's probably going to need to be this one then. All right. There's going to be some butchery here. I think it might be just easier doing it this way. And trying to go the other way. Right. Holy fuck, there's some random shit on this. I don't think that needs it. Alright, let's just double check this. The voodoo comes off. Modding. All right, we've got suppressor. We've got that, the pistol grip. The things that it has to have is that stock, the chassis, which we have, which is the MK1 chassis. We don't even need that on it, apparently. That pistol grip, and then the March tactical sight. Then after that, all we need to have is 60 durability, which we have, 15 ergo, which we have, 500 recoil or less, which we have, and a silencer, which we have. So literally, we just need to change the sight, and we've got the gun. So we need to find a March Tactical. Is that this one? Nope. Any, anyone know if, if there's any March Tactical in my stash somewhere, or on a different gun on the M700? No, I need the 32442. If I was to show you like directly, it would be that one. That's the one I need. We're going to be doing woods runs anyway, so we can try and find it. Isn't there a second more pimped out M700? There is. It's here. That's needed for later though. Yeah. The only other thing it could be in is maybe inside one of these. That's not it. That's not it. And that's not it. But I just need the site for the SVD in other words. I call that a decent win. All right. What's 20? 20 is the M1A. I don't have room to do, it, do the rest of this. So do we make them and put them in the stash somewhere? We should try and get, we just need one motor and we can upgrade this. And then we can upgrade this. We have made a mess for the greater good. All right, what's next? Should we do the M1A? Huntsmith 20. All my M1As are built for um, 
test drive. All right, it has to have the 20 round mag. It has to have the mag. It does. But what muzzle does it have? I don't really want to ruin that. What are M1As do I have? It's just the one that we got from Thingo. Let's use this one. So we're not ruining this one. So we'll have to repair that. So it has at least 60 durability. Oops. Repair. Right, modding. 20 round mag. Let's get the ammo out of that. It needs LS321. We don't have the LS321 easily accessible. It needs the 34. I need one more DVD. All right, on the shopping list, one DVD. Unless we can see it somewhere else. Do I have a 34 mount on any other gun at the moment? I feel like I do somewhere. This is so messy. On the RSAS in the hideout. And that's it's no touchy. Everything in that is no touchy. We've got another site ready to go, which is good. We can put that there. We can put that there. That's all the vendor. Just trying to clean up here if we can. Don't think we need that one. So that's a vendor. Put that there for vendor. That's a vendor. Oh, we might be able to keep that. Cool. I think arguably we have a much better knowledge of where we're at with gunsmiths. I don't think we made more space though. Right, this M18, so we still need, this is the one we, we're working on, yeah? Uh, we wanna take that out. We also wanna take off that completely. It's got it's got the Ultimac already. It came with an Ultimac, that's sick. And and the front MT4G thing. Jeez, that, that, this game's half done. That was a huge find. A MM and it's got the T1. So we just need the LS321. So this just needs the LS321 and the site. Sorry, and the, uh, we need one DVD. So put that on the shopping list. We need capacitors and a DVD. I don't think we have room to fit it though. That's the unfortunate. Uh, or do we? You don't need a suppressor on this. It just needs, it needs 20 ergo, 400 recoil or less, seven kilograms and a mag of 20. And the specific items which we have all of besides the LS321 and the mount. So that's done. That's awesome. That's Gunsmith 20 pretty much done as well. So what's that leave us? 21, which is the M700, which we have down here. Okay, I'm kind of tempted just to see how close this one is too. All right, so this has got the Mod X chassis already. So we don't have to get any of the mod parts for the chassis. It's saying I need to put the DS 150 field stock on, but I don't think that it's mandatory to have it. This just has to have the chassis. After that, we can put whatever we want on. So let's just put this on it for now. All right, it needs to have 35 ergo. Actually, now we're gonna get rid of the change to this side. Okay, so we need to take this side off completely. We need another 34 mount. All right, put that on the shopping list. We need three DVDs. We've got the wave already. Bruh. We've already got the pistol grip. Bruh. This is almost the whole gun. It says a magazine with a capacity of five or less. Or no mag. All right. Two capacitors, one motor, three DVDs. Yep. I think that's the site. Schmidt and Bender. No, we need the 525. All right, let's close. Uh, now, pistols. Any 1911s? Two World Wars. We need to find 1911. All right, so that's 21. And the last one's the M4, which we'll do the M4 later. All right. We literally just spent an hour. An hour doing Gunsmith. Ah, oh, it's done. Now we know where we're sitting with everything, which is really good. I think we go woods now and we continue on trying to get um, hunting trip done. And whilst we're doing that, we will also try and get shooter born in heaven done. We'll check the scope shack every time for any of the scopes that we need. So just on this one, all we need to do then is I haven't got an AKMN to test to test this out yet. The SVD is what's missing on the SVD. Everything but that. 
We need the March Tactical. M1A is uh, missing the mount. So we have that, we just don't have the mount. We have this one complete. No, we're missing the mount as well. Pistol, so 1911 pistol we don't have any of yet. I know we have the Reaper site for that. I haven't checked the rest. We're very close to a lot of those gunsmiths. The, where'd you find the uh, the vector stuff? Weapon crates and loose spawns. Guess we start looking. I think I just used the last of my Bitcoins too. Is there a straight cash purchase for um for weapon cases? It used to be. It used to be Euro. No, it's just barter trades. Woods. I know nighttime's part of Tarkov, but I just feel weird constantly doing nighttime raids from because I because I make this also for YouTube. It's always just dark and gloomy and hard for you guys to see. But I suppose if you've watched up to now, which is probably like episode 80, it's more than likely that you're probably gonna watch me and do, <laughs> do anything. <laughs> if you've watched all the way up to episode 70 or 80 or whatever the frick, I think we'd be on 70 something now. I think you guys would watch me read a book at this point. I'm mostly just background noise where people look after their kids and, and all that. So, hello, wives, girlfriends, husbands, boyfriends, kids. All right, lag says no boss. So we can just go check Silencer Shack for some sites and get out. That is the plan. Oh, double lag. So double no bosses. I'm loading the dishwasher at the moment. Can confirm. Maybe we're just laying still for a minute up here. Nice, dude. That's bait, right? That's a guy with an SVD just baiting people. Or a Vepa Hunter. He would be getting everyone's attention though. So it might actually be a really good idea to run across now. Not the dude with an M700. Yeah, I'll just pick up my thermal and go in there now. Maybe putting a thermal on an SVD and just hiding somewhere might be the play. Francisco MC94, thanks for the prime. KDA, thanks for 100 bits. GMNL Lobo, thanks for the 30 months.
This is all it's about. Trying to get lucky timing crossing. Definite trouble here. Fucking timing. Fuck. The fucking chances. Train soldier can't walk up basic hill. That guy was using an MDR. so agitating when like you know i was playing trying to play smart there i like took my time waited for a little bit made sure there was no one crossing there was shots on the other areas and then like you know you're trying to push up using the cover on the way up and then conveniently someone comes around the fucking corner i just want to have a fight you know i don't want to just get like clapped like that You don't know this, Lag. but we are in a race for Kappa, you on Hardcore Me on EOD. Mm. I think you are going to win. No. We'll see once BSG adds the barter trades. That will probably be the big the big deciding factor of uh, how quickly I get this done. Nikita said it's on their to-do list that they're going to add some barter trades for us, so... The whole idea is if they, do, if they add the barter trades for gunsmiths, then potentially in the future, like, I'd be more inclined to want to... Do Kappa in on hardcore every time. But like if I have to find every item, it'd be fucking horrible. That means you're a tryhard, bro. What? Are you fucking twelve, bro? Lost. Wow. Never had that achievement. Look at me go. I'm going to leave the scabs up. Fuck off! Another dude with an MDR? The fuck is this? Straight up, another dude with an MDR. Well. There goes all the AM700s. Fucking stupid. I swear to God, when I go in with like this Vepa and nothing else, I'll come out fully stacked. But when I go in with an actual decent loadout, all right. And I can't do nighttime woods for hunting trip because I'll never fucking see Sturman. Like I won't physically be able to see him. We go nighttime interchange for killer. Try and kill him with a Vepa. It's either we go for killer or we go for Rishala. I think that's the task we have at the moment. I'm not going to use SVDs if I'm on a death streak. Just lost a large portion of our bolt action rifles.
do. Insomnia at night time on interchange. Well, it's hard, hard to kill her. Looking for the fucking capacitors and DVDs. Man, I need a Taylor Swift shake it off right now. Watching two loadouts that get absolutely annihilated without actually seeing the person I'm shooting at or fighting just fucking sucks. Just realized I'm playing Weekend Tarkov and that's when all the whack shit happens. All the sussy boys come out, all the weird shit. Harry82, thanks for the 15 months. Alright. Capacitors and... DVDs are on the menu. Weapon parts, obviously. Like a good generic, that's a very... Three other scams fucking running out. Is that armor better than what I'm wearing? Pretty sure that guy shooting is Nash 12. No. Stretch grab, we need that. We've got the glorious mask, don't we? have this don't we pretty sure we do it gone
If we don't take the armor out, we could take the PSU, which we need a few of them to get Bitcoin farm going. What was on our shopping list for the, we needed one motor as well. Caps, one motor, three DVDs. Vision now. Oh, we need a 1911. Nice. Right. If we don't care about the PSU, we could just leave. Finish with the 266. This is not for the 1911, is it? No. The Bitcoin actually isn't that useful. Like it's, it, I can use it to buy half an item case. Mostly just after the PSU and the um, the PSU and the caps because we needed two, didn't we? We got two. The shroud shroud's also a um, item we need for capital. Are you able to sell Bitcoin? Yeah. Like I said, it pretty much buys me half an item case. collecting them up if it would let us put um junk boxes inside item cases life would be so bloody grand grades a good raid small dubs There's the two caps that we need. Shroud Shroud goes in here. So we can tick that off our list of items we need for Kappa. Round and a half mask. Double check Glorious. We have that. Let's repair this and just use it. And we need this. Do we need the... So <clears throat> we need the 1911 for Gunsmith 21. To have the mag in there. Empty. We need that. We need that. And then we just need to put a tactical device on it. How do we put the tactical device on? We need the 1911 trigger something. All right, so we need the trigger guard 
for the 1911. What do we need the eight capacitors for? For the site? I don't remember. I'll just sell those two. That's a really good raid. Like, I know it wasn't superly, super uh, eventful, but just the fact that we got the 1911, got a, the two caps we needed, and a PSU. Oh, the RPK, the buffer tube. Yep, you're right. Small dubs lead to big dubs. Yep. Yeah, and the Shard Trap. If I was playing super sweaty on my main account every raid, and I never cared about, sorry, I cared about dying every time, I would easily have above 20. Easily. If you're only playing for your stats, then the game will just become very frustrating and you won't be able to have any fun because you have to take it serious all the time. That would be very, very, very disheartening. No boss. How many PSUs do I need? more and I need one motor do you think they'll add an addition soon with the bit with a bigger pouch than three by two no I don't it was like four more power cords wasn't it If they're going to do anything, they'll just add the gamma container as a microtransaction. If they do that, charge 10 bucks for it, every single standard account player will buy one. They, they will literally sell like 100,000 of them. Insta million dollars. And then everyone who doesn't have one, you'll be like, <clears throat> like the whole player base will look at you and be like, what are you poor? You can't afford $10. And then there'll be this whole like hierarchy of like wealth and everyone picking on the, picking on the poor that can't afford $10. But literally, like, in all seriousness, if if they did add the whole, you could buy the gamma container for $10, they'd probably make it 20 But just say they did. Just for argument's sake. Say they made it $10, you could buy the, the gamma container. The fact that instantly, like, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of people would buy it is proof that EOD is paid to win. And you won't convince me otherwise.
the fire cannons down here as well, just upstairs. How many DVDs was it? Three. Three DVDs. If it wasn't for that piece, you would take no back. Right? I can't remember how many power cords it was, but I do believe it was at least three, if not four. Do this one already. What did I need milk for? There was a milk barter trade that was always good. It was, was it the Valde? Some sort of site. Give us a Bitcoin. Alright, show us that you actually love us, Nikita. After the punishment from the first two raids of today. I want to see a Bitcoin. That's the third DVD. Now we leave.
awesome armor. Uh, rig doesn't have double. Can't take it. It sucks. Don't want that RK. Does that go on a... Yeah, I'll put that on after this raid. Why not? Slowly improve this gun. He's got a gun on his back. Should we check pharmacy for Alytics? Last time I used the DVD was before the 2010s. Maybe time for them to update game, not realistic for it. Office could use it in 2028 to have DVD drafts. <clears throat> what would you prefer? I should do a playthrough where I play Tark over the ball, ball mouse. I how you used to open it up and clean it. I, I don't think I could play on a CRT monitor, that's gone too far. got the DVDs done so we can actually do those barter trades. That's actually really good. <laughs> Not sure how that would change the experience playing Tarkov on Dial. We're building up a gun, hey? Right, so we needed two of the of these. And what guns were they? This one? Oh, the M700, which is in here. All right, which gun needed which sort? M700 needed, ah, uh, needs the Schmidt and Bender 526 one. So that, I've only got the 312. Whereas the M1A needs the, that one. 
Ah, so the M1A is complete. So I need the Schmidt and Bender 52556. 52556. Is there a barter trade at all? Wait, what? Am I missing something? It has does it have to be the Wreck Nagel error attack? 30 ring scope mount? The dart. But oh, that's no 34, 34. Alright, where do I get one of these then? The Wreck Nagels. Link search. See barters only. No. The G28 barter. Oh, what happened? Where's the G28 barter? Skill? There you go. He's here. Man. We'll get there eventually. It's the wrong one. I'm gonna have to find one. It's a very specific one to find though. But I have one. the fuck uh. but I need the site still so I have to find the site okay well that makes me a little bit happier a little less stressed a little bit happier uh do we just keep going interchange killer and and we almost have all the items for this these are a little bit annoying to farm we have to go labs for that. Two more PSUs and we're going to have a Bitcoin farm. And that's for the um, RPK tube. <sighs> Let's go. Interchange, night time. The barter trades added by, um, by Nikita in, that, in the list that we added. It'll get me past the Vector, the HK, and probably help with the AK-102. Yeah, yeah, definitely with the AK-102. I've already got the SVD done. I've already got the M1A done. I've already got the M700 done. I just need to find stuff for the... There's not a lot I need, actually. But it's good that we've actually taken note now. We'll be able to find that site on woods, I reckon. If we did enough woods raids. Whilst they ha they're great in concept, I think cheating in, in video games... And I don't want to talk about cheaters for ages, but I think cheating in video games is really going to make it hard for extractor shooters to survive. Like, they're going to really have to... put measures in place from the very beginning... Because, I don't know, like, player, get, like, player retention on an extractor shooter needs to be, like, the, the utmost highest priority in, in, my, in my mind. Because, think about how many people would have played Escape from Tarkov since the very beginning. I'd say, like, I don't know, tens of millions? Most likely tens of millions? But I'd very, be very surprised if the player base was much more than a few hundred thousand. Maybe a million on what? Like, over a while, probably a million players still play. But the retention is horrible because every time people die to a cheater and all that kind of crap, they're just like, I'm done with this game for good. Was there lag? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that was fine. Okay. If I can, I should try and get out of this armor. Like, I don't know the numbers exactly, but like... I just feel like the amount of people that are... Like every time a new extractor shooter comes out, they have such a hurdle to, to get over. To make it successful. Cheaters in COD don't stop people from playing that garbage, does it? And COD is full of cheating. But the problem... The, the difference is, bro, that in COD, you can play that, and if you die to a cheater, you just queue back up, and you're straight back in the action. Literally, within 30 seconds, you could be shooting guns again. There's no fear of loss. 
None of that stuff. The stakes are entirely different. And that's where extractor shooters... It's like... You know when... You play a game like DayZ, and if you die to a cheater in a game like DayZ... Like, I don't F4. I would straight up just be like, that's it for me for today. Like, particularly if you'd been alive a long time. Like, I'm not, I'm not starting again. I'm not going through all that again. What was the one chainlet for? Remember, there's like, I could do the barter trade now, which I did. Oh, it's a skeletonized pistol grip. Take hours to get up north in Daisy. Yeah. The one thing that Rust has at its advantage is most of the main servers. Like, oh, like face punch and all that. They've all got active moderation. So like you literally report someone, they could be like banned within five minutes. You know, like depending on how many people are moderating the server at the time. They might even be playing that wipe the mod, you know, so they can check in on the person straight away. Or there is a punishment of like, oh fuck, I lost my gear. Community servers would be good for Tarkov. Just don't see it happening, bro. Because you just don't want anyone to have access to anything. What was the item I needed for the RSAS? No, I finished the RSAS actually, didn't I? I heard a grenade go off then, didn't I? Any process on Killer and Rishala? No. We're... I'm trying to get the last two PSUs for my gunsmith. Whilst also looking for some weapon parts. And getting nighttime player kills. So if I get two more PSUs, I've got the... Uh, Bitcoin farm going. Chat, which other popular extraction shooter exists? Marauders, Dark and Darker, Hunt, DMZ. There was, um, well, DMZ's done now. They stopped that. Um, Cycle Frontier was around for a while. I think out of all of them, Cycle Frontier probably had the, the best, um, attempt. Actually, interesting. Like one of my mates that I went to our school with, he he played uh, a lot of DMZ, and he said it, like he had a lot of fun with it, and he was a bit upset that they um they stopped that. This has been kind of shitty raid. Very quiet on the scab front and the players.
You don't enable high core mode, it's self-imposed. Wasn't there a barter trade for, for gas analyzers that I found that was actually like not bad? RFB? Should we just get an extra DVD? A couple of DVDs just to be safe for the future. Just in case we need to do another barter trade for one. I think we're going to head out now, so we'll just grab all this. Check pharmacy on the way out. Yo, that game looks kind of bright. What game? What was the game that people started getting really hyped about recently? Like, We the People or some shit? I'm not saying that, like, it's impossible for these games to succeed. Including Grey Zone Warfare. I, I just feel like people don't realise how many years it's taken BSG to get Tarkov to where it's at now. Now, there would have been a couple of years where they kind of, like, overall saying, say, I don't know, how long they've been developed? Say, say, eight, nine years. A couple of those years would have been dicked around by, like, other issues. For example, and I was saying, like, it was sequential two years still. Just over the whole development, they would have lost a lot of time to stuff like um, all the cheating stuff going on. Every time there's been like another like big push to try and stop cheaters, the, the server issues in 2020, like they would have lost it, like months of development trying to get the servers under control. Um, and then all the drama side stuff as well. Undutchable takes the 15 months. But the point I'm trying to make is like to make a game as flushed out as Tarkov is, it's going to take all these other companies multiple years. Multiple years. We're talking three, four, five, six, seven years. The the thing that they can, they do have the advantage on, is BSG has done a lot of the legwork when it comes to what works and what doesn't. And, you know, a lot of the games can just take the ideas from BSG, or at least the structure. I honestly think end of this year we're going to see talk of 1.0. I honestly think it. I know that's a big copium. If you asked me that before the last wipe, I said there's no fucking way. I said there's no fucking way. But that last wipe honestly surprised me. Very quiet raid. Can't get a quiet raid like that when killer's in there though, can we? What's left now? Terminal and the main storyline. That's it. And if I run into killer, it's going to be a hard fight with FMJ rounds, but we'll give it a go. Oh, poor man. Once that's done, we'll make another moonshine. Two PSUs, and we can have this. And that's for the RPK stock. Let's go again. All right, so now we can't do insomnia. So what 
else could we do instead? I think interchange is still good just for farming killer and also getting weapon parts. If we're trying to find weapon parts, because there's a lot of weapon crates. I missed heaps in most of those raids, but let's go daytime now. Bruh. Was the scab shooting at me? I need a poop. Can't rush a good poop, you know? The killer's up. I'm gonna try and kill him with FMJ rounds. Do I aim for the chest? Instead of the head? Because if I don't, like the padding part of his armor isn't that good, is it? It's like class three or four. I'm, there's no shot I'm gonna be able to get him in the in the legs. He has like 1400 health. It'd be like 18 hits. Oh, what? Are you fucking serious? Makes me mad. The scav didn't make any noise that that dude didn't make, like, there was no audio cues. Oh, man. I can't catch a break. I want to go nighttime interchange, so at least I'm getting insomnia kills when I kill players. We could SVT it. Do we have another couple of SVT mags still? It's a contact part that's fucking really at the moment. Alright, meds. Four, five, five, and six. That'll be thanks so much for the 100 bits, dude. And welcome. I'm struggling so much to get insomnia kills, eh? I need to get killer. I just, I have to get it done. I have to get killer done. It'd be super dodgy to do, right? But say I do kill killer, but I don't get the helmet. You could camp, you could go to the raid that killer's in every time. Like every time killer's in a raid, you just run straight for no backpack and then lay there and wait. And then when the person runs out with like to get the killer helmet out, you just kill them and take the helmet. That would actually work. Cause I, 90, I would say 90% of the people that farm killer, particularly for setup, sorry for setup for, uh, for dress to kill would be just running to no backpack. <sighs> we would have got killer yesterday if it wasn't for that, um, that lag. So the uh, the gun bugging out. What did I miss? Just the cage. Lag. All right. So we need to get some backpacks. Gonna be walking along the road. This is gonna be bad for us. Why does that look like a player?
tier three, 21 months. Who did that? There was AOD Fire God with the Prime. Super Wars thanks for 67 months, dude. Cage with the tier three for 21 months. That was 26 minutes ago. Thank you so much, dude. We get some salutes up in the chat for tier three for 21 months. Lethal Ninja, thanks for three years. I'll go back into the mag. I'm gonna try and remember all the weapon crates underneath. There's a fair few. Because if we can't, if killer's not here and we can't get insomnia kills, we're better off just trying to find weapon parts as we run through. that one that's for the HK I think the surefire socom 556 RC 2556 suppressor done Aqua, sun. Little birdie told me you were doing psycho. Sorry, uh, type of shooter part eight. 
on factory and uh, you got the kills that needed to get out. Did you get out? Guys, if you haven't checked out my son, make sure you do. And then also check out his content. Beautiful man. You got them both done? Awesome. Happy to hear it. Oh, nice. Hello? Excuse me, sir. Kill the killer. Kill the killer gun. Kill the killer gun. Uh, and thanks so much for the 38 months, dude. Yeah. Awesome job. Do I just leave with the suppressor? I think we do. Small victories, right? Don't need that. I want to check what ammo's in here. Already got the Dr. D. Don't need them. So we spent a lot, large portion of this morning out. We're just um, getting all my gunsmiths built, so we knew what items we still need, and uh, in the process of doing insomnia and find killer and and that, we're just trying to get some of those items done. So farming pretty much weapon cases whilst also looking for killer, and then when they're not time raids line up for insomnia, I do that. Yesterday, I don't know, oh, dude, yesterday, I came around the corner, peaked killer, right? He was standing still. I had a gun that would have one-shot him in the head, and I went to click, and the gun was bugged out, and I couldn't shoot, and I literally was staring at him in the head. I had to run off, old F4, reopen the game, and I came back, and he insta-killed me. Dude, it, it made me want to quit Tarkov. Like, not just quit, but uninstall. All right, so we got that. I, I, yeah, we don't have the actual thing for the suppressor. I don't believe. Maybe, maybe this one works. Can you use this one? War comp. What gunsmith is this? Gunsmith fourteen. No, it doesn't have to be. It could be any. Cool. All right. Well, we've got that part on, but now it's not going to fit in the weapon rack, is it? We already had one. All right, rack cola. We'll put that inside. Yeah. Rack cola can be ticked off our list.
Well, we got one of the items we need. <sighs> we need to find a HK 11 inch barrel, the LA 5B PEC tactical device. We need the Magpul RVG foregrip. I think we've got the foregrip. We also need to find a 416A5 Midwest 9 inch. Guys, there might be workarounds to doing this. But yeah, let's, we need to find this this one. This one's a big one to find, which I don't know if that's going to be an issue. Hmm. We also need to find the field Gen 2. Man, this, this HK is going to be ruining us. Well, let's hope for a killer spawn, eh? We haven't had him spawn yet. Oh, one raid apparently. One raid, you guys said that he probably spawned in. Come on, come on. Lag. Yeah, you guys been telling me I should watch Shogun. I don't I don't watch much TV. Like very minimal. Like. Watch that trust show for no real reason, just because. I just wanted something trashy to switch my head off to, but I can't remember the last TV show I watched before that. I'm trying to think. Oh, it was um Bear. The Bear. That show was great. that wall one more time. I'll leave, I swear. Show me PSMO. We're actually running out of ammo. Yeah. Hey, Archangel, how you doing? He tanked a shot to the head? What have we got? MP5. Nothing. Keep moving. Can I add a pop a shaft?
It's a dead raid unless killers in here. They need to get. They need to just fix that whole lag thing. It's literally killing the killing the raid. Is it 11 inch I need? It is. We're out. We're going home now. A lot to go home now. Oh my god. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> there was a dude coming after me. There was a dude 100% coming after me. <sighs> Huge! They got you. 100% they got you. All right, we need one more LedX for crisis. Streamer loot on streamer dead server. Nice. You didn't hear the guy running after me? Guy that wanted my blood. Oh, boy. So happy. I'm so happy. I'm so <laughs> The people that know, the people that know, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jump, skip. Jump, clap. <laughs> uh. specific things do we need for this like a has to have we've got the suppressor that's the field grip we need the moe ar-15 so we need a specific pistol grip we've got the sight we don't have the we need the uber gen for we don't have the stock it needs to have 60 ergo that's probably why you need the different different uh what's his name we also need to get the npeg i suppose this would actually add ergo and then the stock as well so yeah, I need the field stock. Like for the things that I have to have, I need the field stock, the pistol grip, and the laser. But it is closer with that barrel. So. And then on top of that, we got the um, LEDX out, which is huge. Interchange delivering. Interchange delivering, hey? Better armor. Slowly gearing up. Oh, we, we didn't get the buffer tube. For the RPK. Um, I can I can sell this, I don't want it. Alright, so skier, was it the buffer tube for the RPK? Nope. Can it? RPK. There. Cool. And then we need the RPK buffer tube. Was that for the AK-102? Yep. AK-102. It's going to make it a little bit annoying. All right. And then what went on the AK-102 buffer? The Chris. Cool. So what's left on this then? I need the magazine and I need the muzzle stuff. 
That's it. And it's finished. That's cool. That's huge. We can put the M4 here. We'll do that later. The 102 needs the muzzle blast shield thing, which is annoying. Yeah. Yeah, Deadpond. Been telling me about it. Mm -hmm.